Welcome to another Jay Crazy News Headlines and a special Friday afternoon those are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, I just said it's time and time again that many of these new dancehall artists, they claim to be artists, but behind the scene, they are mixed up in latch scamming and also gang violence and they are par with a side that is rival with another side in a community. Basically, they are parring and hanging out with gunmen. And doing so while doing music always lead them to their death. It's either I don't know. Music or badness. Now this key right now is Franz Morris, aka unknown Gringo, who is from Flankers in Montego Bay. And this morning about almost 1 a.m. he was shot and killed by gunmen. The residents in the rap district heard loud explosions and they called police. And when police came on the scene, they saw the artist suffering from gunshot wounds. They get the place of recovery where he was pronounced dead. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, this killing of unknown gringo is coming from the beef that is happening and tension happening in flankers. Remember I know. It's a day before or a day ago, you them called Pinchers was murdered in Flankers, my viewers and my subscribers. Now, based on information, this killing of Franz Morris, aka Unknown Gringo, is a reprisal for the killing of Pinchers, which happened a day ago. Now, you know, in Flankers right now, it's tense, and three gangs are at odds with each other the Sparta gang. Rebel gang and Libyan gang. So these three gangs are causing tension in flankers right now. And persons who are affiliated, originally gang members, or friends with these rival gangsters or gangsters are being taken out. And also funders who fund these gangs are being targeted and killed. Now my advice to these new dancer artists. Check on yourself, know yourself, stop be on the borderline. You can't be a gangster or affiliated with gangsters or gang members and do music at the same time. You can't do that. It's either badness or music. It's either music or badness. Stop playing both of the field. Because trust me, it now will end pretty for most of you all. And many of you do not care. You live the life same way, you mix up in lots of scamming, gang violence, and trust me, in Montego Bay, many of these artists do not live long. They do not live long. Because the company that they keep, they always say no. All who care here must feel. If you pay keen attention to the violence in Montego Bay, it always spills over in neighboring parishes such as Westmoreland, Sentinel and Trelawney, my viewers and my subscribers. Yeah man, anytime things get hot in Montego Bay, it spills over in Trelawney, Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth. You know, I said this time and time again, you know, that many of these dancer artists, they live a life of crime and they come into the music to hide their life of crime. But behind the scenes, they are doing some real grimy dirty work. But guess what? Time always catch up on them. And the screen right now is Devrick, who was shot and killed by gunmen earlier today in Paradise, Norwood, St. James. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, what is so sad is that there are over 50 gangs in the parish of St. James. Montego Bay, the center of Montego Bay, where most of these gangs reside and dwell. Gang members live and they create tension and beef and war between rival factions. And it's so sad that these young men get into these gangs, these life of crimes, and they want to get out when it's too late. They want to change their life when it's too late. Too many young men are being murdered by the gun 
in Jamaica overall, and not to mention the parish of St. James, where gang violence is heavy. May I tell the people, in most of these communities in St. James, Montego Bay, there is a gang, or young men who are friends turn enemies. So the community is split in half. You have this set gone this way, that set gone this way. They start by a gun, and then they are gangsters. They start rivaling with each other. Yeah, man. Straight battle, bloodshed, mayhem, and bloodthirst for revenge and reprisal by these young men. And these young men now pass age 30. Not to mention age 28. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, it seems as if being a gangster, being a shatter, being a gang member is more appealing and attractive than living a life of being a law-abiding individual. Having a gun belonging to a gang is more appealing and attractive than being a person who stick to the rules and regulation of a country. I say this to the young men in Jamaica. What do you want in life? Do you want to be a shatter where you can't sleep in peace? You have to always look out of your corner eye for your rivals or your friends that want to take your three points and to mention the police? Or you want to be a great contributor to this country where you can sleep in peace? You can live without fear. You can tell yourself, say, nobody now come for take your three points because you're involved in nothing. Think twice and change before it's too late. But people, make a move on. Now we're still in Mantico Bay, my viewers and my subscribers, where a busy man was shot and killed Thursday morning in Westgate Hills, Mantico Bay. And the screen right now is 34 year old Sheldon Dahiani of Westgate Hills in the parish of St. James. Now on Thursday morning about 1 a.m. He had his common law wife was at him home. They reached home, exit the vehicle and walking towards the house when they were pulled upon by a lone gunman. Now my viewers and my subscribers, that gunman fired several shots hitting Sheldon in his chest and his neck. Now the common law wife was not harmed. That gunman escaped successfully. We take the hospital where Sheldon was pronounced dead. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, this indeed was a hit on the life of Sheldon. Now over in the parish of St. Elizabeth aka St. Bess, the breadbasket of Jamaica, but now it has become the breadbasket of bloodshed and mayhem. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, on the screen is a youth them called Shemar. Now last night, Thursday night around 10, 9 p.m. those regions, he was shot and killed by a gunman in a place called Shrewberry. Yeah man, in the police, Black River police era to be exact. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, criminal activities has been on the rise in the parish of St. Elizabeth and also murders. I'm talking about from Lakovia, that end goes straight back to Brompton. There have been non-stop shootings and also murders and huge criminal activities in those areas, those parts of St. Elizabeth. Now the police have ramped up huge patrols in those areas, those parts of the parish of St. Bess. But however, criminals are still finding their way to commit crimes, robberies, and shootings, not to mention murders. Now, when a young person like Shemar is being killed in those areas of St. Elizabeth, normally it is because of family dispute, not a scamming dispute, or gang violence, my viewers and my subscribers. Now, I said before, gang violence is on the rise in St. Bess, not to mention Lachi scamming. Have been a problem in the parish, yes, but now 
is being out of control and young men are being murdered in St. Bess. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy